how to set up google analytics with shopify hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up shopify and google analytics so having said that let's just jump into the video now first things first what we're going to do is we're going to come over here onto shopify right and we're going to find google analytics now if you come into the applications you know if you search for application over here in google analytics you won't find it on the sales channels what you could do is either you could go to settings right and underneath apps and sales channels right you have your online store right you click over here and you wait for a couple of seconds and then over here you will get all of your other details and you just simply click on open sales channels and it'll just open up this right here um where you were before i mean you didn't have to go through that you could just simply click on online store and then just simply go ahead and click on preferences right and over here in preferences you will see you have title and meta description social sharing images google analytics facebook pistols uh, customer privacy pro password protection you got all these different things right so over here what you have to do is you could just simply paste your code you get from google all right and google analytics for google's updated measurement platform is available through google channel app and which means that there is actually you know they just updated their measurements and you can find it in the uh, google application so let's go ahead and open it up right here and here we go so this is the sales channel so we could just simply go ahead and click on add sales channel right here wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and we have no google account connected so let's go ahead and click on connect and here we go so we have now connected our google account and as you can see one out of two steps is done so now we already have a google analytics property right here as you can see web viewing and we have another one right here so we need to create a new property right here and we can click on create new and it'll open up you know google analytics as well which i already have opened up over here so this is actually a lot easier now because i was going to show you the older method where you just simply go ahead and manually create the id and then copy the code that you would get right here and then just paste it over here this was the older you know way but now as you can see they just updated their measurements you know the application and now we can just simply update it right here easy peasy okay i just said create a new but for now i do think that we need to create a id or actually a property so to create a property what you could do is you just simply click on the admin settings right here right and you have create an account and create a property it depends on you so let's go ahead and click on create property all right and over here we're going to give it a name shopify there you go we can set up the time zone you know uh currency it depends on you we'll change it to usd dollar there you go and we'll change it to yeah i think that's much better and then we'll click on next and then over here you just enter in your business uh you know information select the category you have we'll just say it's apparel we'll just say shopping and we have a small business size and now how do you intend to use google analytics measure customer engagements optimize my set experience measure data across multiple platforms uh, increase conversions uh, measure content monetization it depends on you which one of these reasons you want to use google analytics for but just simply select and check the box you want and click on create and also another thing i forgot to mention we actually need to change something when you click on create property right when you're creating a property make sure you click on show advance and make sure you check this box create universal analytics property check this box and you select create a new universal analytics property make sure you do that all right we're gonna have to create it again shopify 2 we'll leave it at that and over here you just enter in your shopify you know url which is going to be right here and once you've done that you just simply click on next and then just simply select all the same options that you wanted and then just simply click on create and you are good to go now you have a property created now we are good to go now what we could do is we could go back to shopify right here and maybe actually reload this page there we go and now select the other property that we have right here 
Okay, so it wasn't showing here before, but all I had to do was actually create a new account. So the process is going to be exactly the same. Instead of creating a new property, what you could do is click on create an account. And over here, I created this account right here. First, it was showing me these two accounts. So now I created a third one, which is for Shopify. Now to create an account, just simply click on create an account, enter the account name and your business details, right? And then just simply click on next and then enter in the property and the exact same thing after that and you then you just select what you want your and give your business info the size of your company the which industry it falls into what measurements do you want to select or what check boxes you want to select and once it's done your property has been created and your account has also been created now if i come over here and i can find it right here as you can see this is it so we just simply select this right the shopify id that we created and then we click on connect wait for a couple of seconds and boom we are now successfully set up with google analytics 4 and we can go ahead and click on get started with the merchant center right here click over here and now we need to do these things for us to actually go ahead and connect to a merchant account and then we have to verify it you know with our phone number and, and then we have to select the shipping settings and terms and conditions so enter in a valid payment method all right create an online store we already did that this is the shopify store add a refund and terms of service policy and confirm that you've added the contact information of your online store very simple you have to complete these five steps all right uh, for the product listing so then what you would be able to do is connect to the google merchant store you know verify your phone number and you know your product feed settings as well and then you can finally just simply uh, verify your terms and conditions but this is a trial account of course i'm not going to do this because the purpose of this video was to just show you how to connect your google analytics property and we have done that right so just simply create your account on google analytics create the property come over here onto shopify search for the google application and in it you will find google analytics and you are now connected and also once you've connected your google analytics account even if you haven't gotten started with your google merchant center uh, it doesn't really matter you can come back to the google analytics you can start seeing the sessions right here right so we have 30 minutes right here one user i recently opened it up right here in another tab and we can see right here that it is actually you know responding and you know getting data and if we spend more time over here you know buying more stuff you know and doing a lot of things it'll still track all of that because we have now connected our website to google analytics and it will give us all the things and all the reports that we need so it's actually working go ahead and try it out so as you can see uh, four minutes ago zero minutes ago we just recently changed our page we went to the product page viewed some products let's take a look at here and if we come back over here this is going to be real time right so this is real time report if i come over here and to click on real time this was like a snapshot we can go ahead and see over here as you can see real time reports 50 percent we just recently went to uh, product page all users page view scrolls engagement first view so as you can see it's actually working so pretty simple if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below what you are having trouble with and i will surely get back to you and help you out so pretty simple that's how you connect google analytics with your shopify account so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye.